Good to see you, Steve. How you doing? I'm doing excellent. Nice to see you again as well. Um, so uh, I am curious, though, which of your friends and family were the most excited when you told them that you landed a role in this movie? I'm talking like, you know, the level, you know what I mean, like got to a level that was just unhealthy. Rachel Zegler. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, for, yeah, I'll go with Rachel too. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that I think that Spielberg, listen, Spielberg is a genius. We all know that. But but when you look at West Side Story specifically, the way he, sh um, the, the shot selection is so unbelievable. The way he puts the camera in places that you'd never think to put it. What is it like actually watch working with someone like that and watching him s figure out how he's going to shoot it? Well, like from the time that we were rehearsing, he's also rehearsing and he's storyboarding and he's coming up with ideas with Janusz as well. Um, some ideas that they don't end up using, some obviously that they do. And then also on the day, I think he's being creative as well and coming up with ideas on the spot. But uh, he always said like, you know, he's, He's prepared. He has his idea, and then he could get rid of get rid of it. But he he has his camera in rehearsal. He's filming us all the time, mm -hmm. showing us rehearsals. Um, so yeah, it, it was really cool. It was like we were all kind of preparing together, and we had that long process to do it. So yeah, and there was also this really uh, great element too, uh, where you wouldn't necessarily know where the camera was. Uh, you know, so we would have our playground, and we would be doing our thing and our behavior and going through our motions and all of a sudden be like, okay, cut. And you'd be like, oh, okay, moving on. That's it, you know? <laughs> so that, that was very like freeing and liberating. When you think, uh, obviously with Spielberg, I'm gonna keep drilling on this just to, you know, I'm kind of a fan. Um, what, do you, what surprised you about working with him that when you went in, you weren't actually expecting, if anything? I guess he's, no, I mean, we, you know that how much of a legend he is, you know, how, how amazing he is. Uh, you know what? He, he was a huge fan of musicals, which surprised me like him, actually him and Rachel were like, were able to go back and forth with lyrics from every single old school movie, musical uh, stage musical. Like he really knows. I mean, he, he's kind of like has that encyclopedic knowledge that some directors kind of like Edgar Wright has that too, you know, of, of all things, um, entertainment, music. Uh, so that, that was pretty surprising, especially the, the musical knowledge. I think just like on a personal level, getting to know him as a human and uh, as an artist and uh, his in infectious, childlike, joyous behavior and his approach to what he does. Um, ju just uh, being in that a sphere of joy that he just oozes and you know it, it's infectious and wonderful uh on what day of the shoot did you guys act like chris farley and just want to like you know pull him aside and geek out about one of his movies i think mine was day two i, I started doing it yeah <laughs> it was pretty early on uh I'm not really a fan of Spielberg movies. <laughs> no, no, I mean, he, no, he's, he's, he's a real good sport. And I know a lot, the whole cast was always going crazy about, and he'll, he'll play along with the, you know, ET phone home and yeah. 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 I started asking questions though, like immediate. <laughs> well, I asked a lot of questions about Daniel Day Lewis and stuff. So he would, mm -hmm. he would tell stories about working with Daniel and what did he tell you? I uh, forget. <laughs> They were memorable. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of the things I don't think people realize is what it really takes to make movies of this scale and scope and what you have to do to get ready before standing on set and filming these huge musical numbers. What do you what do you wish more people knew about making a musical on this size and scale? Well, I, I, I don't know about everyone else, but, you know, Ansel and I, we, we had a lot of time to work together. And I think like, especially for cool um, in between takes, having to like keep up that energy and stuff and, and the animosity that was between the both of us. Um, and we had been working on it for like four months up until this point. And I think uh, 
I don't know. We spent, you know, like 12 hours for three days straight shooting cool. Uh, but it was nonstop. So in between takes, like he would be off, like, you know, in his corner, jumping up in the air and keep making sure that he's continuously out of breath and focused and doing his thing. And like, and vice versa. Yeah. yeah, we were all, but yeah, and the energy was always like that. And when we were shooting the rumble and stuff, like everyone's giving 110% every take, everyone between every take is giving 110%, <laughs> like just leaving nothing on the table, saving nothing yeah. uh, every day, just going as hard as you possibly could. And that, that, that energy was super infectious. Yeah. Okay. I remember Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Steven was talking about how, you know, they're shooting Lincoln, but he had played a, a cobbler before in another movie. And Steven had a problem with his shoes and Daniel Day Lewis was like able to fix Steven's shoes <laughs> because he was such a talented cobbler. Yeah, I remember that story. What was the problem with the shoe? Do you remember? Like, like maybe, you know, something was falling apart or something like this. And he took it and he fixed it for him. Yeah. <laughs> and it was during Lincoln. Lincoln that he, so he was a good it's sport like, about wow, it. In As off. Lincoln, I think he, he was able to fix his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a great, that's a great, <laughs> great story. I got to stop. Congrats on the movie. I wish you nothing but the best. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Great to see you.